Hello, everyone, uh, and thank you for joining our Dancing Air Live today. Uh, my name is Betty Finkelstein, and I'm the Global Brand Manager at Danziger. Uh, we are a family breeder uh, for almost 70 years already. Uh, you're most probably familiar with our uh, leading varieties such as uh, Excellence, Gypsophila, and Million Stars, and Scoop Scabiosa, and Skylar Veronica, and Painful Crispedia, uh, and many, many, many more. Uh, today on our Dancing Girl Live, I have the pleasure of having both my dearest friend, Alison Bradley, uh, and uh, uh, Gabor Nagy uh, from Hungary, uh, which is located directly in his parents' wonderful shop, full with decoration for Christmas already, uh, on our session, The Festive Fer Frenzy. Uh, they both will talk a little bit about how they market Christmas uh, to the customer in their shop. Uh, he will also demonstrate five designs that he created, wonderful designs uh, with beautiful products. Uh, he will give you some tips and some ideas and uh, hopefully will inspire you. Uh, we would start with both of them and then at the end we will have some, oh, we will open the session for discussion and interactive. You can ask some questions and uh, we'll be happy to um, answer everything. You can also, of course, ask questions on the chat on the Zoom during the session, uh, and Alison and Gabor will be happy to answer. Uh, and before we start, I just uh, remind you, everyone, that we have our Danziger Live uh, page on Facebook. Uh, this is an interactive page managed by Alison Bradley and Danziger, and we invite you to share your uh, designs, ask questions, get inspired and inspired your friends uh, with your wonderful work. Um, so before we start, I just want to take this opportunity and wish you all a Merry Christmas soon. Uh, we're getting ahead. Uh, so uh, Alison, my dear, go ahead and start. You're both on mute, so just We don't hear you yet. Gabor, you he can you t say something? Yeah, yes, yes. Hi, Gabor. Oh, this is yeah. okay. We now have two on mute. I can't. Okay, hear. wonderful. So I'm gonna leave you both and disappear right now. Bye, <laughs> bye. Bye, you already. bye. Hello, everyone. Uh, as Betty said, welcome to Dancing Girl Live. Isn't she gorgeous? Doesn't you know the only reason that. Uh, Betty hangs out with me is, is for, oh, hi, Carolina. Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to see you again. Regards from the Colombian team. Hello, Colombia. I'm assuming you've got good weather. The reason both Gabor and I are wearing slightly warmer clothing is because it's actually a little bit colder here than it is in Israel just now, and certainly colder than, uh, than uh, Colombia. Um, Gabor and I first met, I don't know why I've got such a small screen. I, mm, anyway, I can hardly see Gabor at the moment. But um, Gabor and I first met, it was quite an interesting one, I think, was that, um, oh yeah, that's better. He was, had been competing, hadn't you, darling? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he'd been competing. And um, what's the name of that competition? What was the name of that competition? Uh, it was the Euro Players. Yeah, Euro Cup. And, well, he came first, actually, yeah. And one of the things was, although we had never met before, one of the things we did in another organization called Floral Fundamentals was to invite the three winners to come and take part in Floral Fundamentals. So. Hungarian designers, in my experience, are extremely gifted designers. They're really, really gifted designers um, and have often won this trophy, haven't they? I think it's like a real big record how many Hungarian wins there's been. So he came to Floral Fundamentals and heaven help him, he met me. So there was no oxygen left in the room because I do a lot of talking. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I had always said that um, Tamas, who had previously been there, was so quiet and so shy, and Gabor seemed to be coming along as if he was the same kind of person, like a quiet, shy person. And then I looked into his eyes and there was a twinkle in those eyes. <laughs> he's anything but shy. He's not shy. He just looks that way. So thank you for joining us, darling. Um, we're in your mum and dad's shop and you work there, don't you? Uh, for, firstly, <laughs> before I say right. everything, uh, I would like to welcome also everybody here oh. in the webinar. And I would like to thank you very much for the invitation. Uh, for uh, Danzinger and for you, because uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's it's an honor for me that I can be here, and uh, I hope everybody will enjoy the webinar and the designs I will make during it. So yes, I'm here at my uh, parents' shop. It's in a, a small city uh, close to the Ukrainian border in the northeast uh, part of Hungary. So I'm now here because uh, we transformed the shop into Christmas yeah. because it's the Christmas season. And we worked a lot with everything and we will work till Christmas a lot. But uh, I, I, I thought that uh, it uh, would be the best decision if uh, I would make uh, the webinar from here because the theme will be Christmas. And yeah. I think this is the right place to make it totally agree absolutely agree it's um it's when i when i was asked to choose a title and i i gave you two titles but the fest of frenzy seems to sum it up because florists around the world um when it comes to these sort of festive periods they work around the clock and i've got lots and lots of of um of photographs of florists after like Valentine's Day lying on the floor because they can't walk anymore or their hands don't work after Christmas working with all the pine and the holly and everything that goes with it. Um, so it's, it's that kind of frenzy. And yet, look at you looking so calm there. <laughs> totally calm. Wearing a good sweater, it's excellent sweater. So tell me, you mentioned when we were discussing this that you you and the family have divided the shop into certain zones, if you like. Can you explain a little bit about that for us, please? Uh, yes, uh, yes. We, we used to uh, create different uh, zones with uh, different colors and themes uh, um, at the shop. So customers can choose uh, more because uh, uh, the shop, um, we, we, we create uh, different areas with different products, different colors, different materials. So, so they can choose uh, from more, more products and more themes. Mm -hmm. So the flower shop is not uh, um, transformed into one or three uh, yeah. colors. It's, uh, it's transformed into three or four ones. Mm -hmm. So people, uh, because the customers, um, uh, some of them are uh, following the trends and, and want something new, but uh, uh, some of them want the traditional ones or, or if or, or there are customers who don't like the traditional or don't like the uh, trend colors, which are the year soaps. So they can, uh, we, we uh, make a lot of different things, uh, modern designs, traditional ones, and they can choose uh, what they would like to buy. And that will presumably make them comfortable when they go into the shop, is that they can go into the area that that best represents them, you know, for their taste. So you're, you're trying to take a wide um, approach to your customers, which is very wise, I think, actually. So you, I asked you to make a traditional Hungarian design for me. Do you have one that we can see then, please? Yes, yes, I will. Thank show you. I have to admit, I've had a sneak peek at this and I think it would go perfectly in this room. 
yeah. So, yeah. I, I, I made this uh, advent wreath. Yeah. Uh, the colors are uh, gold and uh, yellow and, and green. Uh, because uh, in uh, Hungary, uh, customers really like uh, the adventuries, which uh, are made with uh, real pine. So I made the base uh, um, with uh, with um, pine, and uh, uh, the base is an oasis uh, ring. Yeah, and. Um, I placed the candles for golden candles, yeah. and then I add some decoration materials and uh, use the um, Crustidia paint ball yeah. from Danzinger. And I also use the, the Anigazanthus. Also from Danzinger, yeah. Yeah, yeah, also from Danzinger. And they are very, very beautiful ones. Well, so, I those those Crespidia look, you know, I'm used to smaller headed Crespidia. They, they look really big. Yes, yes, they are they are very, very big. I have some here. Aha. Uh -huh. And beautiful ones, huge, oh, yeah. huge heads. So they are very, very beautiful. Yeah, beautiful indeed. They're great. I love it. Yeah. Okay. And the stems are very, very strong, so they can be used in a lot of different designs. And I will show one design later with Crustidia. This will be the main flower. Yeah. And I, I use all lengths of the Crustidia, yeah. not, just the, not just the heads with the, with the stems. And, and the stems was so strong and, and so, so, so great. Okay, so they're good, strong stems which offers you an opportunity to do different things, which is a great thing. Absolutely terrific. You've got some messages here already. Um, we've been joined from, uh, yeah, from Pakistan. Hi, Pakistan. And uh, from the, yeah, the Pakistan Orchid chapter of Islamabad, or they're saying hi. So is um, Beta saying what amazing Crispedia and, uh, I'm also told that they can be tinted. So you can either tint, have them tinted or you can spray them color, but you're using them natural, I see, yeah? Yes, yes, I, I, I mostly use uh, the natural uh, Crustidia, but, uh, but uh, I, I also used to paint them. It, it depends from the design. Sure, sure, okay. I'm gonna try and keep up to date with these, but they're just actually, messages are coming in thick and fast here would you believe you have someone who must be in the middle of the night uh, is watching from australia <laughs> hi faye yeah and from kenya and yeah here we go ah and a certain mr xavier from denmark dan da xavier is here from denmark yeah and lily bielen so anyway Hi everyone. Oh, oh, team Koskinen's here. Yeah, saying hi from Finland. Oh, and Christian, Christian Kover. I don't know if I'm saying Chris. Chris, can I call you Chris? That's what you are. Um, hi, Daniela. Hi, Karen from Arizona. Good Lord. Right, let's keep going. So tell me more. Are you going to add any more to that design or is that a completed design? Uh, it, it's a completed design. That's what I thought. So okay. I will start with the second one okay da, 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 da. beta saying hi from poland oh my goodness eh? yeah and hi from Ca canada gosh hi sandra hi oh sandy you're not sandra hi sandy can i call you sandy that's good um okay busy busy stuff oh no i love these flowers i love these flowers Ay, caramba. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Now you're going to move the camera so we can, there's the base. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. Okay. Okay, I'm not prejudiced or anything like that at all. Salma saying yes, he's a beautiful. Hi, Danielle from Liverpool. Um, okay, talk to me. Have you used those scabiosa 
before? So, uh, um, when, when I saw this beautiful Scabiosa scoop variety, I, I, I thought I will make something uh, taller design with this because they are very, very, uh, uh, very, very unique shape and, and its color and, and its form is so, so beautiful. So I wanted to, to show the beauty of uh, Scabiosa beautiful. in this design. So this is why I placed higher, not uh, in the middle of the base. And um, the base is uh, made of uh, wood. I um, sprayed with gold spray uh, the surface of it. And after that, I glued the dry materials. Dry. And uh, between the dry materials, I placed some um, test tubes. Mm -hmm. And the scabiosas are in the test tubes. And now I will add some other scabiosas at the back of the design because uh, the front is uh, ready and some uh, Christmas balls yeah. to make it more Christmas. Hey, let's do it. I have to say, so how have you attached the dried material to the base of the board? Is it is it on pins or is it on uh, is it glued or how is it? Yes, yes, I, I, I glued with uh, glue gun. Okay, cool. I glued with uh, glue gun and um, after I glued the dry materials, mm -hmm. I, I sprayed the base. So uh, the spray uh, paint uh, covered the, the glue also. Uh huh. So it, 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 it's not visible. Not showing, yeah. Okay. Hi to Singapore, Christiane, that person from Singapore. Hi, Christiane. Um, chat, chat, chat. I think I'm it with you all. Yeah, okay, that's good. Okay, oh, no, I'm not. Oh, yeah. Frida Killeen, they're saying gorgeous, Gibbios. I know. A scoop, the depth of color on those, those flower heads are, it's just amazing. It really is just amazing. You cannot believe the fun and games we had to get them because the Dutch flower market had sold out of them. But um, I know a lady and um, she was able to source them for us, but Gabor had to chat people up to get them to, oh, look, oh. Look at these beauties, oh. so, so beautiful. Yes, I love it, yeah, wonderful. I wonder if the growers are watching this because, um, According to uh, Betty, according, oh, there's a recording in progress. That's quite exciting. <laughs> according to Betty, these actually came from Israel. So, um, and I'm told they grow outdoors. So uh, what they're planning to do, they're hoping to do for next year is that the Danzinger team via Danzinger Live are going to produce a handbook of the flowers to say, when they're available, where they're available from, size of heads, size of stems, la da da, um, because that's so useful. But you know, heavens, I just absolutely love this color. Although, with my former editor's hat on, a dark purple or any shades of blue um, are difficult to photograph. It's difficult to get. Uh, it not to look like a black hole in a design, but oh my goodness, I would be a very happy person with this in my room, I can tell you. But then so would our cat. He likes to play with flowers and eat them. So so what is the dry material? Beta's asking, um, what is the dried material you, you that you've uh, glued onto the base? What is it, darling? Uh Actually, <laughs> I don't know it because I found it uh, in an old box. Oh. So it it was at the shop, I think, from the beginning. <laughs> so I opened the box and I saw this material uh, some um, weeks ago, <laughs> and and I and I thought that. I, I should to make something with this because the, the the form of this looks looks very good. I think it looks as if it's been material that's dried naturally to me. 
So it might have been product that you had in the shop and maybe it didn't sell. And so it's been stored. It's actually, you know, with this combination of dried and fresh these days, it's quite useful to look back at materials that maybe you've forgotten you had and actually get them out there and get get it get using them again. I really I think that's quite a wise thing. So from, from winning that competition and then you became a floral fundamentals ambassador, yeah? Yeah. And you met this whole pile of strange florists <laughs> <laughs> and the amazing growers that we work with. Um, the next time uh, I had a phone call from you, I ended up saying, OK, would you like to do some traveling? And the next time we saw you was in China. Yes, that's true. I was at Kohim. Yes. Uh, the Kohim school in China and it, it was a fantastic travel and a fantastic demonstration and I love to be there yeah well they loved you because I have never seen a Chinese audience react the way they did to you oh hey here's Karen uh, Crawford hi Karen she said we had some eucalyptus that tanked but I saved it and we're spraying it silver and gold for holiday so thanks for this inspiration. So yeah, great. You know, being Scottish, um, I have this old phrase, which you probably are all aware of, which is waste not, want not. Um, and that basically means is don't throw things out unless there's a specific reason for it. And these days, I think it's, it's really essential to maximize out what you've got going through through your business, don't you think so? Maybe, maybe I'm on my own here, but it sounds as if your family are a bit like that, Gabor. <laughs> he's so serious. Can I just mention he's very serious and when he's working, he does tend to go quiet. So talk to me, Gabor. Okay, Keep talking. <laughs> I, I, I will talk. <laughs> so now I will glue some uh, Christmas uh, bowls the designs to make it a little more uh, shiny and more Christmas. Yeah. And uh, and and uh, I will I will finish the design because uh, I add uh, some uh, of uh, this uh, some from this beautiful uh, scabiosa scoop, mm. and I don't want to uh, put any other flowers because I want to just show the beauty of the scabiosa because. I, I think the color amazing. I, I really like this. is This is one of my favorite uh, scabiosa color. Yeah, yeah. And, and and the stems are so strong, and and the flowers are very very big. Yeah, they are. And is that so, is that a piece right. of cyclamen at the front? Have you used some cyclamen? There's a pink hair. Yes, yes. Uh, I used uh, I used some uh, cyclamen and. Uh, uh, some uh, uh, color. Ah, some color as well. Yes. Okay. But but uh, mostly I use just the scabiosa. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, apparently Salma, who's a friend of mine, actually says there are squirrels over there too. I think she means they like to gather things up and then save them. Actually, she is a bit like that. I know that for a fact. Well, this is gorgeous. I love it. Yeah. I'm glad we got the scabiosa, don't you? Aren't you glad? Yes, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm very glad because they are very, very beautiful and su super beautiful. Oh, I love them. Just beautiful, honestly. <gasps> you know, just actually just a bouquet made like that. Oh, I would be a very happy woman. I really would. <sighs> And for, for example, in, in Hungary, uh, customers really like uh, scabiosa. Do they like the purple colorways? Do they like that color? Uh, they, 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 they like uh, uh, the scabiosa in every, every, every color. color. Yeah, every color. And uh, when a uh, when, uh, season comes, we used to buy the flowers uh, to uh, fit to the seasonal uh -huh. bouquets. 
so and and uh, for example at the christmas this uh, um color of scabiosa uh, is very very popular at the shop in this this period of the year because of the the, the color and also for example the white ones with a little bit of in, in a snowy bouquets or very very natural bouquets it looks so so amazing and and the customers really like it Love with it. the bouquets and and with uh, in, and in a table pieces or everywhere so definitely see in the table piece it'd be a real talking point on a dinner table wouldn't it yeah they really like it the customers very rich oh thank you for that that was good everybody seems to be liking this this is all good this is very good everybody's happy I can't believe Faye's watching us from Australia. Goodness knows what time it is there just now. So I finished the second design. Okay, thank you. And I will continue with the third one. Okay, okay. I can tell everyone that um, Gabor is going to have photographs taken of all these designs and they will be posted on, excuse me, the Danzinger Live page. So you will be able to study them. Uh, later on and i'm going to ask him if maybe some close-ups can be done as well of the mechanics so you can have a good look there's nothing like a good look at mechanics is there yeah okay it's 3 30 in the morning in australia gabor faye in australia is watching it's 3 30 in the morning oh that's very right. early <laughs> oh my well, thank you, Faye. I'm sorry you've got, uh, you're not sleeping. You should sleep more, but thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for joining. <laughs> okay, so talk to me. So, uh, now the third design, uh, the base uh, is uh, created uh, with uh, clematis. All right. And uh, I made a half, um, ball shape yeah with uh, clematis yeah and uh, then i add uh, some uh, pine branches yeah to make the structure in the middle of uh, the half ball yeah. shape yeah and uh, after that i add some um, test tubes to the design but uh, before i fix them i colored the test tubes into okay, red good. okay because uh, with this uh, it uh, gets some extra color yes. in the middle and if somebody uh, uh, see in uh, the middle of the ball yeah they can see some other colors Brilliant. and and uh, with this design i will use uh, anicosanthus yes very very beautiful ones I will use two colors of anigosanthus. Just a minute and I will show them. They are very, very beautiful. Yeah. Oh boy. I love anigosanthus. I ah oh, oh look, I love the two tone. Oh wow. So beautiful and oh. so fresh and so beautiful absolutely stunning gorgeous and all the better because Faye who's in Australia bless her this is uh no no there's kangaroo paw there's a long story yeah. Words, but yeah um hi to Margaret from Connecticut hi to Caroline Marshall Foster hi Carrie she's saying this this strong message of reusing old stock is a really good strong sustainable message and uh, one of your pals, Connie van der Westerlaken, is on as well. The lovely Connie. Thank you, Connie. And stunning colours. Yes, they are. Beautiful. So this is so, eco-friendly because you're working directly in water all the time as well. So now I will add some uh, other uh, anigosanthus to the yeah. design and some Craspedia. Yeah. And uh, after that, it's done because I, I wanted to show the beauty of Anigosanthus. So I 
I, 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 I won't add a lot of flowers, just, just mostly an agazanthus. Yeah. It has a really natural look to it, which I like, actually. Yes, yes, yes. I, 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 wanted, uh, I wanted it to look very, very natural because some of, uh, some of the customers uh, like uh, the very uh, natural ones, natural designs. So at the shop, we used to make uh, designs which uh, uh, are made from a hundred percent uh, natural uh, materials and the natural things were uh, uh, with uh, dried flowers. So we used to combine the dried flowers or dry materials with the living materials. And uh, we, 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 we mostly uh, used to make it and we uh, are not using uh, silk flowers or these things. <laughs> We, we we used to we used to work with uh, living materials and the uh, dry materials. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. It's uh, I have very strong views about this, especially as you know. So I won't I won't go on and on. But anyway, another another view. Of this uh, is Linda Hawker, and she's come in all the way from Ontario, Canada. Wonder what the weather's like with you. I bet it's quite cold up there too. Yeah. So actually, it's colder than Scotland, isn't everything? But I've got to mention you're wearing your your beautiful top um, with a bear on it. <laughs> <laughs> Just to explain to uh, people who don't uh, know me at all, who is this mad woman? Um, I'm known as Mama Bear in the flower world. And, That's true. <laughs> and Gabor, bless him, every time he sees me, he arrives with a bear. Hang on. <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> that was the last bear to me, yes. Uh -huh. So I have actually a shelf of bears collected. So, um, but his bear is from a certain gentleman called Ralph Lauren, of course. My bear is probably from the airport shop, <laughs> but, but he's wearing Ralph Lauren. And I have to say thank you for doing that. Uh, Debbie Goff is in from Scotland, hooray! Looking great and just from doing the road, as she says. So I won't go into a Scotch dialect because you'll not understand what I'm saying. So, um, Oh, Carolina, thank you. She says I'm very sweet. Oh, bless you. Oh, love and hugs to you too, darling. She's actually a gorgeous looking girl as well. Yeah, we might get to see her when we get into chatting. So, oh, some Caladium now, yeah? Yes, yes, I had just some leaves to add little more colors. Yes, they're perfect. That, but that will be everything okay that i will add to the design okay brilliant i love this i actually know exactly who would adore this yeah yeah absolutely gorgeous and i placed some uh, light oh you got light the design so because Customers really like designs with lights. So. <laughs> okay. Ah, -da! Place there some lights. Okay, gorgeous. Can you bring it close? Oh, yes. And hold it still. Oh, that's great. Actually, the, the lights are the same shape as the Craspedia. That's really cool. Yes, yes. This, this, is, this is why I. Uh, this is why I chose uh, the Craspedia and uh, the lights because the form of the lights yeah. are very uh, the same as the Craspedia. Ah, yeah, beautiful. Thank you. By the way, Lily says it looks great. <laughs> Lily Bielen from the Netherlands. Hi, Lily. Our ambassador, yeah. Okay, good. And you use the same scissors as me. This is very good. This is very good. Here we go. Aha! Here we go. 
this is uh, my fourth design. The base are made with this beautiful uh, oh. Praspedia paintball. Yeah. I, I love it. I really love it because it's so beautiful. I can tell you love it. That's stunning. That is absolutely stunning. Can you tip it up so they can see the center? Because you, you've managed to, oh, it's perfection. Look at that. Yep. Salma's got, you know what Salma has done? She's going sigh, brilliant. Yeah, that's a huge compliment from Salma. She's a, a demonstrator herself. Beautiful and a TV personality now, Salma. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you're on a wooden block. Yes, okay. the base is a wooden uh, block. Yeah. So uh, I drilled a hole into the middle of yeah. it. And uh, after that, I uh, stabbed the road yeah. into the middle. And uh, at the beginning, I, I had the golden uh, circle. Yeah, I got it. So ah, I, perfect. Fixed, I fixed the first uh, layer of Crespedia. Yeah. Uh, to this. And you cross to this uh, circle with a decoration wire. Yeah, yeah. And uh, after that, I uh, started to add the other layers. Yeah. And when when I add uh, one layer. Yes. I uh, bind it. Yes. And after that, I continue, then continue, <laughs> and uh, till I reach the final shape. Stunningly beautiful. I like the graduation, the shape. Yes, yes, because uh, I, 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 I didn't want to uh, create a very flat yes. shape with the Crespedia. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Full stop. Beautiful. I love it. Do you have, by any chance, have you got the wire ring there so that people, have you got, uh, have you got a wire ring near you so that people can see the mechanic you used? No? Uh, I, I, uh, this, uh, this was the only uh, wire here, but uh, I will use the same technique with uh, the bouquet. Oh, perfect. So oh. I, will, I will show everybody how they can make it and how they can use it. Okay, perfect. I tell you, because that's going to dry, that's going to be just that seriously sustainable design. And, you know, perfect for corporate work. You could rent that out. I love that. Ah! So now I will, I will add some, uh, uh, some uh, golden stars. Oh, yes. Stars. To make it look like a little more Christmas. Yes, yeah. Right, and after that, uh, I will add some um, dendrils with uh, fine uh, uh, needles. Yeah. I made some, so I will just uh, place them around the shape to follow the shape yeah. of uh, the uh, base. Yeah. And uh, after that, I will glue just. Uh, uh, three uh, flowers uh, of uh, uh, phalaenopsis. Yeah. This will be all because I wanted to show the beauty of uh, the Crespedia and I think this is enough because the Crespedia is very, very beautiful. Yes. I agree. This is uh, just gorgeous. Actually, Farida is on and she's saying, oh, wow, I've never seen this size and length of Crespedia before. Well, Farida is a well-traveled lady and she, she knows about these things, but honestly, you have to ask for paintball varieties uh, because that's what this, uh, Danzinger had bred this specifically for this kind of designer to take on board. Right up your street, Miss Farida. Yeah, here we go. John Kip to amazing products. Thanks, Danziger, for, for making flower industry sweet and good. Oh, that's a lovely message. Oh, John, thank you. What a kind thing to say. And they do do this. You know, they, 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 um, I think we should all go to Israel for a little vacation one of these days. What do you think, Gabor? 
Well, we just all go to Israel and have a party over there. Yeah. Yeah. You, you met some of them online now. I, I tell you, it'd be a wild party. If that's the one thing I can guarantee. Okay, we have a question. One question. How are the stems held in the women's support? Okay, do, do you want to answer that? Okay. But what he's done is he's drilled a hole in the center, Carolina. And in the center, he's then added um, rope to attach onto, okay? And then there's a circle, uh, a metal circle, which is about, about that deep. And each Crispidia head is, is bound. We call it cross hatching. So let me get my finger on the screen. Here you go. So the, the decorative wire goes down like this and like that, and then it goes on to the next one. So it's like forming an X, okay? He's going to show you how that's done later in the demonstration because he's got... Um, Another example, but this time it's a fresh bouquet, and I think it's going to blow everybody's mind because when the girls um, saw this earlier and uh, Jonathan, who is a specialist man who's got this recording going and who's connected us to Zoom and Voom and all the rest of it, um, I've never heard him jump out of his, or I've never seen him jump out of his chair like that before saying, I want this. Yeah, that's unusual for Jonathan to say something like that. So um, we're quite excited about this, but it's a similar technique of an open weave. You're very welcome, Carolina. You're very, very welcome. Actually, this is right up your street. What is it you grow over there, Carolina? Tell me, you're one of the growers, aren't you? Yeah, I think so. Because it's not just florists that are on here. It's florists, flor flower arrangers, floral designers, growers. Basically, everyone that is anyone is on. <laughs> oh, tell me, can I just ask one question? Oh, there's students on. Danielle, you're a student. Well done, my darling. And we got a smiley face from, from Danielle. Um, I've noticed over the years, many, many, many years, that certain countries in Europe like to use stars in their Christmas or festive designs. Now, I was relatively new to that. They've now become more and more popular, I notice. Is it traditional in Hungary or the Ukraine to use stars in your on your festive designs? Uh, yes, yes, we, we used to we used to use uh, stars mm -hmm. in the Christmas designs. Not uh, every time, but uh, we used to create designs with stars because people people like it. They like it. Yeah, customers like it. Yeah, I think you know the color choices. I mean, your color choices you're known for. They're always perfect. But um, yeah. This is amazing. And you're going on to represent your country again, aren't you? you <laughs> yes, I will, I will represent Hungary at the Europa Cup next year. If we can get it to happen. Yes, yes, I, 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 I really hope that it will happen yeah. and I can go there and compete. Yeah, yeah. It's just, I feel sorry for all the competitors because they keep getting new dates, but then then it gets postponed again. So it's hard. Oh, so darling. Just I, send it over. I'll have that in the house. <laughs> so I finished the design. Perfect. Yeah, it's absolutely it. Honestly, for a corporate environment, that is just perfect. Perfect, beautiful. Thank you for that. Yeah, and and uh, because I use the roads in the middle of the design, it yeah. looks like uh, it would stand on the own stems. Ah. This uh, the the uh, crustidia because yeah. uh, uh, the stems were very strong and very nice. So I wanted to show how 
beautiful uh, in this whole length. Yeah. So, yeah. so this is why I chose this design. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Let and it, it will last a lot of time because they can dry. Yes, exactly. And it will, it will be also very beautiful absolutely. when it will dry. Yeah. And then you can even, once it's dry, you can spray color the, the heads and change it. And yeah. You can add some fresh flowers and tubes. There's oh, some really good design. Yeah, right. and, and they, and, uh, and uh, for example, if we, we uh, put some uh, test tubes into yeah. the design, uh, customers can uh, go to the shop and buy some stems of flowers and they can change uh, yeah. at home. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So for example, if they, by a design which uh, uh, where, where the base uh, will last uh, long yes. and the base can dry yes. and there are possibilities to put the flowers and to refresh the flowers okay. into new ones they can go again to a shop to the shop and uh, to buy some flowers and they can change them so i think this is a very good uh, solution for oh, the customers wonderful i love it i love it beautiful thank you okay barat khalid is saying this is beautiful i think she's talking about the design and not me <laughs> it's definitely beautiful yeah now you can understand why when um when gabor went to china why they fell in love with him because they did fall in love with him we had to fight him back out of the country again Okay, oh, I love the container already. Ah, now I know what's coming. And this is my last design, yeah. Christmas bouquet. Yeah. Oh, so. <laughs> it's good. So this is Veronica, yes? Yes, yes, this is Veronica, Veronica uh, Scalia. Yes, yes, yes. It, it's so beautiful. And the, uh, the stems are very long. Yeah. And very strong. And they are very, very beautiful. Yeah. Oh gosh. Can can you hold just before you start, when you when you turn it over, could you could you show? Because there's two layers of Veronica there. Oh this yes, is yes. I have some extra here. Yeah. Very, very beautiful and fresh. I really like like this. And for example, at the snowy Christmas designs this yeah. white color fits perfectly oh, yeah yeah absolutely gorgeous so can you tell me what flowers are in the center if you just tip it up tip it up just no no tip it towards me give it to me now hold it hold it just like that so can you tell us what flowers are in between actually there's people saying here salma says she's just died and gone to heaven <laughs> <laughs> i think they love this so what are the flowers in between? Uh, just the uh, symphoric carpus. Okay. And the uh, dendrobium. There you go. Just a few little things. Yeah. Okay. And you're going to explain the technique, aren't you? Yes. Yes. I will explain. Yes. Uh, I uh, to make to make uh, this uh, design, uh, you will need uh, two uh, different. Uh, Two different um, circles, wire circles, yes, with uh, different diameters, smaller yeah. and the bigger one. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I uh, started with uh, with the smaller one. I uh, made the holder point uh, this uh, to this uh, uh, wire with uh, with some uh, with some green uh, wire. So. So I just uh, simply make a holder part. Yeah. So I just uh, just simply made the, the holder part. Just yeah. So basically, you're making it to to make a handle to hold it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I will. I will make a handle. So I add uh, six. Uh, yes. Uh, six um, wire. Yes. Yes. Six uh, stems of wire around uh, the wire circle. Yeah. Absolutely. to make uh, the handle older, yeah. Mm -hmm. and uh, after that uh, i add some uh, decoration wire around it 
okay? So decor wash is a stronger wire. Yeah, yeah it's a it's a it's a it's a not very strong one. Yeah. It's a softer one, but uh, it will be um, uh, it will be enough strong to hold the stems of uh, the Veronica, okay, but yeah. uh, not very uh, strong one. So it will be easy to work with. Yes. So after that, when I made the holders, yeah, uh, the, and added the six uh, uh, stems of uh, wire, yeah. I started to uh, just uh, put some wire around. Just, just, uh, just grab and just put some wire. Okay, so you're making loops as you're going round with the flexible aluminium. So yes, yes, yes. I just, I just st started to to add the uh, yeah the wire and make a structure Perfect. like this. Perfect. But uh, uh, when I when I made it, I placed this part in the middle. Of yeah. uh, in the middle of the ring because I will place the uh, the Veronica stamps here, so yeah. they will cover and they oh. will hide uh, uh, the wire part. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So after I made this round with wire, I started to add uh, the stamps of uh, the Veronica. I started to add the stems of the Veronica. I made uh, the first layer. Yes, uh -huh. And uh, after that, I made. Uh, and after that, I added uh, the bigger yeah. one. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just made the holder part yes. with the green wire. Yes. And then I add the second, uh, the second part yeah. to the bouquet. And I started to add the Veronica around the wire base. And the wire uh, holding uh, the stems of the Veronica. Perfect. And uh, I uh, fixed the uh, five points together, the two layers. Yeah. With some decoration wire. Yeah. So uh, this will help uh, to make it more stable. Yes, stronger, yeah. And stronger. And uh, after that, I just added the Veronica and uh, the base uh, holding the stems of the Veronica. So I just easily ah. put there and they are staying here. Stunning, absolutely stunning, darling. You've got comments coming in. Joe Hammond is saying it's beautiful and she loves it. And Salma, I think Salma's your new, I think you might have a stalker now. Salma loves this idea as well. She just says it's brilliant. By the way, she's a lovely lady. You'll love Salma. She's beautiful in all aspects. Absolutely stunning. I've just, I've never seen Veronica used this way, ever. Absolutely never seen it used this way. It's absolutely gorgeous. Really beautiful. Ah, okay. Yeah. Going to Christmasify it. I don't know so, how. To, that's not a word. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, now to make it a little more snowy, snowy. I will uh, spray because uh, the small uh, flowers of the Veronica looks like uh, snowflakes. Yes, they do. Oh, that's so and sweet. They are very very beautiful so i will spray a little um i will spray the bouquet with a little bit of uh, um, glue spray and sprinkle with just a small amount of artificial snow oh. to get a very very uh, snowy effect oh god i'm really in tears i think that's so beautiful gosh oh. yeah okay farat saying it's amazing oh. You've got a lot of new friends here, <laughs> or new fans, that's what I should say. Ah. Do you know all we need is it to start snowing outside? That would just be perfect. <laughs> oh, wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Gabor, that's just... 
just gorgeous. Gabor, by the way, is a, a proper master florist. I use the word proper for a reason, as is his mother, who's hiding somewhere in the shop. Yes, <laughs> she, she's working. She's, well, that's good. Someone needs to make money. This is awfully good. This is good. Oh, he's working, wow. and my father also is uh, at the shop. That's good. And, and uh, he, he, he's, he's also working. So oh, boy. Uh, they, they are making the orders for tomorrow. Okay, right. Well, that's fair enough. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely. Uh, everybody's loving it. Tina's loving it. Oh, now that's one of the biggest compliments you can ever get. Christiane saying she's it's absolutely stunning. You have a whole new fan base building up right here. Honestly, it's beautiful. Thank you so much for that, my darling. Thank you. Well, do you know, would it be okay if we open this to the public so that the people who are watching can ask you some questions? Is that okay? Yes, yes, of course. It's okay. It's okay. Because if you have any questions and you're not on um, Zoom, if you uh, like the Danzinger live page, then if you post your questions there and, and tag Gabor, he will answer the questions as will I. So, so now we're going to open it and Jonathan's going to push one of his many magic buttons, I hope, to allow you to join us. <laughs> I just want one minute because I have to put my phone to the charger. Okay. Oh my goodness. Put your phone to the charger. I'll keep talking. Okay. Just one minute and I will be back. That's all we don't need is his, is his. <laughs> we don't need that to go. I would love a drawing of the mechanics. It's quite mind boggling, says Farida. Well, I think you might find he's actually, um, Gabor has been um, approached to be an in-house uh, teacher at the new school in Poland, which is, oh, Christian, that's you in that beautiful sari. You look so gorgeous. Um, it was it's just quite a huge, actually it's a huge compliment that someone, as was pointed out earlier, quite a young person has proved to be so successful. And wherever he goes, people just fall in love with him. He's just so lovely. If I tell you, uh, well, he's trying to get his charger to get a bit more power. I'm here. Hey, Mac, have you got your charger? Hey, yes. Thank you, man. Well done. I, Betty, your your microphone is not working very well. Can you? Okay, she's away. She's away to get the microphone thing happening. It's all good. Um, okay, so there's all these names coming up, um, and and no people. Okay, so if you don't want to join us, that's fine. I'll go in the hall. <laughs> Can you hear me, Alison? Ah, yeah. Hi, Liat. Hi. Ah, Portugal's here. Hi, Liat. Yep. Gabor, I wanted to say that the arrangement were amazing and so inspiring. Really, it was lovely. Thank you very much for that. It was an honor for me. It was an honor so, for us. Thank you very much. How could you not fall in love with this guy? He's a wonderful <laughs> representative for, uh, for Flores. Oh, here you go. Say is same. Strikingly different, a great designer. Thank you, Gabor. Gabor, oh. thank you very much. It was fascinating. You must thank be you very much. You must be proud of seeing your flowers and your, you know, all this work that you guys go to. You must be proud to see very them. proud. Very. I think the growers would be over the moon when they see what you've done with the product because it's just Oh my goodness, there's folk coming on. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, I we can't have keep everyone. Up with all these, <laughs> these names. I think it was a combination of uh, a very inspiring guy with very, very good and high quality of the products, really. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, you know, you can work with, uh, Who? With, stems, with stems like that with such length and with strength, you know. Actually, another uh, one of our uh, guests referred to that as well. That was um, Artie, right at the very yes. beginning. They're saying you're known for your stems being so important to florists. 
And we just ask everyone to mute if we're not talking because there is a lot of noise. Oh, that's good. That's gone. Okay. So I'm going to say, uh, Danielle saying, hi, I'm a degree student in which I'm basing my final exhibit on your design style. Oh my goodness, Gabor. <laughs> wow. What are your favorite techniques or mechanics you prefer to use? So what are your uh, preferred techniques or mechanics, Greg Gabor? Uh, I really use uh, glue flowers and I really use uh, the test tubes. Yeah or put the flowers, not just into the floral foam, but use something else which can be filled with water. Yeah. So I, I really like uh, that. And I really like to uh, combine, for example, uh, natural materials with uh, metallic elements or to make designs which are 100% uh, natural ones yeah and i really like to use dandelions he no he loves well because, dandelions. He loves because uh dandelion is my favorite flower <laughs> so i i used to use them all year every every year i collect almost 1000 dandelions and i and I use them uh, everywhere where I go. Well, um, here we go. Uh, beautiful designs. I would love to see the mechanics for the first three designs. Mm. I enjoyed the time with you and thank you very much. That's from Beta. Uh, here we go. The floral designs are amazing. And wow, thank you so much for that. That's Danielle answering you. Um, okay. So I don't think we've got anyone who's going to come on live uh, with the webinar by the looks of it. Is that right? Everybody's just sending me messages for some reason. Maybe they haven't had their hair done. I don't know. Um, here we go. Is Sal Salma saying here, uh, Gabor, you are a genius. Oh, thank you, you very much. You'll be so thank you very much the compliment. <laughs> And then it says, and Alison, you're a heart, whatever that means. Oh, she's a darling. Salma's adorable. Um, she came to see me once with a broken leg and I was in a, on stage in a theater. Yes, the hair problem is stopping us. That's from, from Farad. I see the name here, Farad, but it's a hair issue, yeah. Darling, I hope you're all noticing the new hair color. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, is that well? If nobody's going to come in, all of you can send your messages on to. Oh, here we go. Oh wow! Wait to hear this. Faye Gill from Australia says, "Wait for it. We're in our pajamas watching Gabor, so I'm not joining you this time." <laughs> well, it's the middle of the night. <laughs> Well, if you've got a bear, you can join us anytime because Gabor and I like bears. It's okay. <laughs> oh, you go to sleep, darling. You go to sleep. You've got a busy day tomorrow. Well, I think that's it for the day then. Hello. Huh? Who's saying hello? Uh, I'm saying hello, Farad. Farad, you're there. Where are you? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, very uh, I'm, uh, You can't see me because of the hair problem. <laughs> <laughs> We forgive you. <laughs> and uh, I must say that all the designs were I'm to die for. Aww. And we re I really enjoyed myself. But I missed the first uh, one because I was a little late in coming in. Okay. And uh, I hope uh, there'll be a recording or something. Yes, yeah, Shirley is going to organize all, well, actually Shirley and the lovely Jonathan um, uh, are going to organize that, plus there'll be stills photographs. Uh, yeah, everything will be available on Dancing And Alive, everything Facebook was page. so well organized. 
and uh, what were the yellow flowers what was the name of the yellow flowers aspidia 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 how do you spell them okay c r a s p e d i a space p a i n t space b a l l my god that's too long to remember <laughs> We will we will mention everything in Dancing Girl Live yes. with all the design okay. and the pictures and the video and you can see the the webinar again okay, uh, I okay. think tomorrow or even later on, on today. Okay, 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 that will be good because it's going to be night here also. Not going to be. It's already ten o'clock. <laughs> and, oh, well, uh, well, at least you're not as bad as Australia. Three thirty in the morning and staying up for this. Bravo. Yes. Well done. that that is too good so we, we know we know there are plenty of challenges with the time differences uh, all over the world so the webinars every all the webinars are available on dancing your live so you can also check the past events if you're interested thank you so much for that you're welcome i think i should give uh, somebody else a chance to talk also Salma's there. She keeps sending us messages saying she's just enjoyed it so much. But if nobody else wants to to do that, I have to explain to you. Gabor is in the shop. The shop is technically closed, but his parents are still working in the background, so he okay. probably needs to go to work. <laughs> yes. I think we should now let him do that. <laughs> okay. Thank, thank you for joining. Okay. Us. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye -bye. Okay, so is that well? I should tell you that the next um, this is the last dancing girl live for this year. Um, Joe saying thanks, Gabor. Beautiful work. Yes, it is. Thank you very much. Um, so very it's much. the last webinar for this year. I think we've gone out with a bang, big time. Um, but the next one will be held at the beginning of January. It's the fifth of January. And the designer we're speaking to then is Laura Leong from the UK. Uh, and Laura will be not only creating some of her beautiful designs, she is a completely different designer, but she'll also be talking about the next generation and world skills. So, um, yeah, something to look forward to. Um, oh, yes, Daniel's asking. Danielle, yes. Hello. Oh, you're there. I am indeed. Thank you very much. It's been um, great to join in and it's just happened to come through to my emails that you were doing this just at the right time for my assignment. So thank you. Hey, um, could I just ask, um, when you're thinking about doing your design and especially competing, what's the first element you think of? Is it the shape of your design, the color, what it's going to represent? Just so I can kind of see what your style is. Oh. Is that in terms of a, a competition piece, uh, Danielle? Yeah, probably, just because I, obviously I'm doing like a more of an exhibit, so it is going to be quite a statement piece. Okay. So uh, when uh, I'm uh, making uh, something for a competition, the first thing uh, when uh, I keep in mind is that uh, it have to be uh, fit to the rules. So I try to follow the rules of the competition and the theme. And after that, I uh, plan uh, the shape of the design and what uh, elements I would like to use or would like to add. And after that, I uh, plan the colors, and all of the things. And when everything is done, I go through again the whole process to see everything fits to uh, everything and, and, uh, and everything is fitting to the rules or not. So I think, uh, for example, at the competition, it's, it's very important to see at first the rules. Mm -hmm. The competition rules and the description of each task mm -hmm. and uh, after that uh, I start to plan 
the designs. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you, Daniel, for your comment. Thank you. Okay, well, it's I'm looking at the, the dancing girl girls because I know it'll be pitch black outside. <laughs> so I'm gonna say I'm wishing everyone a very uh, happy festive and uh, season and that you stay safe, uh, be kind to one another. And um, I'm hoping that this uh, year of transition with Dancing Girl Live, we brought you some inspiration that you can warm your heart with. That's what's most important. And most and especially, Gabor, thank you. And you, Alison. Ah. Really the great, the greatest of all. Thank you so much, Mama Bear. <laughs> you are it was really a, a wonderful year and we're looking forward for the upcoming one uh we are i i can tell to everyone right alison that we're already working on our next ideas and plan for the upcoming year so it should be very exciting and uh it's a little bit early but happy new year to everyone Let's have a drink. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Okay, well. Gabor, it was a pleasure. Thank really? you. You yeah, are super thank you. talent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. It was an honor for me that for us I could join for the webinar. So thank you very much. Thank you. I just add one last thing. Faye, yeah. still in her pajamas, bless her, says, mm -hmm. I love what Danzinger have done to improve the wildflowers and to showcase them so well. Oh, thank you very much. It's our pleasure. And Kirsty Ann saying thank you all very much from Singapore. So God bless. Christian, Good night. Bye, everyone. Oh, bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.